With it being around the two year anniversary of the development of Crisis 4 being announced, I thought it would be a good idea to get the Platinum for Crisis 1. As part of a challenge video I'm working on, I needed a respectable shooter game that I haven't already played, and Crisis seemed like a good fit and it was free on PlayStation Plus. So this game is rated a 3 out of 10 on PlayStation profiles, takes one playthrough and is also estimated at 10 hours. But for a Call of Duty professional like me, this should probably be a cakewalk, right? Even the game said so. This will be a cakewalk. Oh, for fuck's sake. Jeez. Oh, sugar, 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 sugar. Oh, what the f But before you sit back and relax on my Crisis Platinum journey, please consider liking the video and subscribing. So this trophy list consists of 41 trophies and can be sectioned into a couple of main categories, the overall story and chapter based trophies, and then chapter specific and miscellaneous trophies. It's a fairly easy trophy list to follow with no obvious missable trophies besides completing the side quests. To ensure we achieve all achievements in one playthrough, I needed to complete the game on the hardest difficulty, this being Delta. For completing specific missions and ultimately the game on this difficulty, we will unlock multiple trophies throughout the course of our playthrough. To start things off, we are introduced to our squad and playable character Nomad. After our mission briefing, we jumped out of an aeroplane into chapter one. After reminiscing about playing the game as a kid. So I remember playing this kid, this kid. What do you mean by that? I remember playing this game as a kid. We were then interrupted by a faulty parachute and splattered to what I thought was our death. Luckily, I packed a nano suit and not a spare parachute. After being marooned on the beach for some time, I made friends with one of the locals and earned my first trophy, zoology. That's for picking up an animal. I do not condone the throwing of animals for any trophies. Ooh. Shortly after this, we encountered our first enemies. Oh. <laughs> well, I thought I was good at shooting games. Fuck. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have fun playing this. <laughs> it just feels so clunky. Being a Call of Duty snob and trying to play this does not feel good on my old hands. After getting to grip with the controls and sensitivity, we then continued through the beach and into the forest where we came across some of the first war whoopsies of the game and the jump scare. Ooh. I'm a brony. Oh, fuck. That is disgusting. Testing. Yeah. What about Aztecs, sir? We just gonna leave him hanging here? Negative. We're gonna vaporize. We can't allow the Koreans to get their hands on that suit. Stand vaporize. Back. Oh, that's Never okay. After we incinerated our teammate, we were given our first side objective. I'm not going to run through all of these as they're pretty hard to miss as they show up as big yellow markers on the map, but we'll circle back when we get the trophy later. Okay, is this like the side quests? Okay, so secondary, disable the GPS jamming thing. After completing this side objective, the game then provided me with a pro gamer tip. If enemies spot you, they call in reinforcements. If they spot you, they'll call in reinforcements. Uh, I think they've already spotted me, and I think it's fair to say that reinforcements are on the way. Thanks for the tip. Chat also provided me some interesting tips and convinced me to drive a car. Yeah, well, this is definitely an experience. Oh, and the checkpoints brought me back no, here. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, whose idea was this? Who told me to get in the car and drive? A little trouble parking, funnily enough, was our next trophy, and that was for discovering the fate of Luska's call. After this, we were then tasked with our next objective to find and save a hostage. But before we could complete that task, I was a good little soldier and completed three side objectives, which awarded me the following orders trophy. We've done the side the objective. Looks like a naval fleet heading our way. Oh my word, the lag. As I made my way to save the hostage, I truly put the nano suit to the test. What are you on about? <laughs> oh my word. Hey, future Defroth here, and I just wanted to apologize if any of the stream footage used in this video goes down in quality just a little bit. I promise it's not your device, it's a problem my end, but for future videos, I will be working on improving this, so hopefully everything going forward is in crisp HD. Enjoy the video. The hostage was being held in a facility protected by armed guards. Ah, oh, they've raised the alarm. And the noob I am, I also activated the alarm for reinforcements. This is not good, this is not good, this is not good. Eventually, after clearing all of the buildings and guards, I could then save the hostage for the easy darling trophy. Prophet, we've 
located one of the archaeologists. This trophy provided a vital landmark for me. So we're one hour down, <laughs> so thankfully there's only nine more left. I only had nine more hours of this hell to endure. <clears throat> we then needed to regroup with Prophet, the only issue being there were some tanks in the way. I do some silly things sometimes. And if we run... What? <laughs> and then also something much worse than a tank. Oh, so I think the game has crashed. Oh really? After these messages, we'll be right back. I did continue playing however after resetting my game, but for some reason my stream never reconnected to the internet. But here are the trophies that I did earn and a short recap. I managed to defeat the tanks and I met with Prophet upriver for the you knew, didn't you trophy. We then investigated the excavation site earning very strange readings. I then sprinted three kilometers for the Marathon Man trophy, and I just have to say, as a runner, this trophy is kind of frustrating. Three kilometers is 1.8 miles, and a marathon is around 26.2 miles. So yeah, with that said, I decided to end the stream and head out on a three kilometer marathon. In the next stream, I observed 30 enemies with binoculars for the Keen Observer trophy. Just up the river a tad was the extraction point that we needed to secure. Oh, right, this is this is cheeky. Why have they got cloaked stuff? This 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 wasn't the, this this. What this? They. <sighs> After many failed attempts, I finally found a strategy that seemed to work. It involved rushing to the left side of the map, taking out the guards there, taking their sniper rifle, and then camping or picking off the remaining guards. Sounds like your average Call of Duty lobby, right? Right, is that it? That felt a bit too easy. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Run! 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 I think there's two, you know. Whoa, what the f- What's going on here? Let's not take the piss here. Why is this so hard? I've- I've- I've played Call of Duty World at War on veteran difficulty on the Nintendo Wii. <laughs> Surely. And eventually the chopper arrived saving us and awarding the Living Up To Your Name trophy. And that was Act 1 completed. This also gave me the Delta Act trophy. To start off Act 2, we were dropped into a hot zone where our team was being ploughed just like I was doing your mum last night. We made it towards Lieutenant Bradley and I also questioned why we were even here. This game is just so chaotic, I don't even know what, what we're uh, fighting for, I completely forgot. Bradley then instructed us that we needed to destroy some AA guns so our forces could push ahead. Whee! To do so, I advanced down the beach and proved why I should be in phase. Oh, did you see that? Get me into phase immediately. Oh, jeez. We then destroyed the first AA gun, causing an enemy chopper to spawn, which I just gave the slip. Just gave him the slip. Let's just move and then go down. Oh, see? Wasn't difficult. And all that. Come on now, how smart is that? Helicopter, no problem. I then destroyed the second AA gun, but was made aware that a third one also needed to now be destroyed. Nomad, there's another artillery unit inside the harbour. Take that oh. one out and we'll call in air support. You're fucking kidding me, aren't you? On my travels, I unlocked the Nano Ninja Trophy for getting five kills while remaining undetected. And then I made it down to the docks where the final AA gun was located and discovered Nomad was kind of kinky. Such a kinky way to kill people, just choking them out. There is actually an achievement for being kinky, which I will unlock later, and that just involves choking enemies. In the meantime, however, I earned the Pro Aircraft Trophy for destroying all AA guns, and then I immediately died. Oh, fuck. After we made our way back, we then needed to destroy a jammer on the ship, and then call in an airstrike for our next trophy. I definitely could have been on the top of that ship and survived. Oh, actually, maybe not. Yeah, first. After enjoying the fireworks, another chopper spawned, and the game hit me with quite possibly the biggest piece of AIDS that I have ever seen. There we go. Nice. What the fuck? Way to show them how it's done, Nomad. What the f- Ah! Ah! What? <laughs> Fucking get me out the. Way to show them how it's done, Nomad. What? 
to the harbour now. How unlucky is that for it to blow up on me and then drop? After that traumatic event, we then linked up with our squad for a tank mission. You can't have a FPS game without a, a plane or a tank mission. This tank is going to blow up and so am I. If you blow this video up with 150 likes, I'll Platinum Crisis 2. All of this fancy gear, but you can't make invisible tanks, huh? During the tank mission, we earned the following trophies. Tank Buster for destroying five tanks, without question for completing six secondary objectives, empty platform for securing the train station, then long distance relationship to celebrate me and your mum being together. Nice. I, I mean, getting a kill from 200 meters away. And then we destroyed five helicopters for the no fly zone. I then asked an important question to chat. Can tanks go through water? Let's just try and swim this way. Um, this shouldn't be working, but it is, and I'm here for it. We've got a submarine tank. I'm sure there's got to be a better name for that, but oh my word. This game continues to amaze me. And to celebrate my important discovery of waterproof tanks, I killed 200 enemies for the Special Forces Trophy. But before I could reach the end of the mission, I had a quick battle with our friend Physics. We'll give it one last college try, and if not, then... Can you get out of the tank? Shock. And I can't believe, chat, that nobody has suggested... <laughs> me to get out. I finally reached the end of the mission with the same tank that we started in to earn the careful owner trophy. Not long after we then discovered a mining complex for a trophy and then our next main mission was to locate and save more hostages. Along the way we noticed some strange things. Take my hand and you will see a world of imagination. No no not that strange thing the alien structure. Oh my god look look at all this. I then completed all side objectives for the perfect soldier trophy and also modified our gun with all five slots to unlock this is my rifle. After some time I continued my assault and also my application for phase. Oh my word, did you see that body just get yeet? Ah, why was I admiring my creation? Finally, I made it into the mines for the going underground trophy. We continued hunting for some diamonds in the mine, but was rudely interrupted and forced into a boss battle with what I can only say is the Joker from this laughing track. After defeating the boss, I was awarded a trophy. Okay, so we've done that twice now, so surely third time is the charm. He's done, right? And after a short cutscene, we tried to escape the crumbling mine. What? How does that happen? And earned the Delta Act 2 trophy. To start off Act 3, we had to do this with a bang, so we entered a strange alien hole. <laughs> That's what she said? New hole, new hole. We go into this hole. And then another one. This looks colourful, let me in this. Okay, so you don't go in the hole. Let me in hole, please. The aliens did not appear to enjoy me entering their base and proceeded to attack me. They can't be that squishy, man. They cannot be that squishy. I then got extremely confused over a door mechanic for about 15 minutes. I honestly have no idea on what this game requires you to do. Oh, I actually am stupid. Right, so this should open here to my right. Is it going to open? Is it going to open? Okay, it does open. That was so simple, yet so confusing. Oh man, I'm not one for puzzles in games, unless it's a puzzle game, because then you know what you're getting in for, like you've signed up for that. But that just was not clear, or to me anyway, that just wasn't clear on what was opening. I thought it was the, the shaft thingy. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Tell me what to do, game. We then saw some big mummy aliens. Oh, that's huge. That's what she said. That is going to be a problem. Then there was the final holdout section while the doors charged up. I was super confused by the lack of instructions and waypoints. I finally charged the doors expecting a checkpoint to happen, but then I goobered it. Oh, okay, so I did need to defend myself. With... What? 
On my next attempt, I found the correct door and escaped, earning the I'm not coming home trophy. Okay, we've completed it. Now, where do we go? Is it through here? Let's just guess it's through here. Is it through here? Please be through here. Being English, I'm used to it not coming home. <laughs> So, what I thought was a failed attempt didn't upset me too much. The next chapter saw the aliens escape their ship and us needing to link up with Prophet. Needless to say, the aliens were not happy. But these are the things we were fighting before, are they different? These look like the bigger ones. That looks slightly more scarier. What did that do to me? Did it hurt me? I also forgot what I learned earlier about hitting the ground at fast speeds. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I fucked it. <laughs> we found Prophet, but his suit was having some performance issues. Just like me of your mum. I mean, what? Well, and we needed to escort him. Prophet gave us a new weapon, which unlocked the trophy for getting a kill with every firearm. And then subsequently, after running to the end of the mission, I'm, I, I mean, escorting Prophet to safety, we unlocked another trophy. We just keep running. That will solve all of our problems, right? Run away from them. Despite the cost of living crisis in England, I then placed an order for some food. Penguin salad, turkey sandwich, chef salad, fish and chips, roasted chicken. It's quite cheap food. We then had another holdout section which took us down a mountain into the jungle where a friendly aircraft has crashed and we needed to perform a rescue mission. It's alright, I'm on my way with my snowball gun, don't you worry. I somehow glitched myself into the vehicle that needed rescuing, thus making me the rescue mission. Oh no, it's... It's glitched me inside. Oh no. Oh no. This wasn't meant to happen. Wait, I'm so confused. I shouldn't have been in that. I was like, oh, let me just go in here to, to loot because that's what you do when someone's down in COD or whatever. You just loot the before you get the res. Why did it lock me inside? I, sh I definitely shouldn't be inside, should I? Or should I? I then completed the holdout after a few frustrating attempts, but then encountered my worst enemy. The floor. Oh my goodness. What even killed me? The floor. I said to myself, you'll stop playing games where the platinums aren't fun. Next hit, surely. Next hit, surely. Next hit, surely. Next hit, short. There we go. So we got to this point last time. We got the music, we got the cutscene, or the uh, cutscene music, and then I randomly died. Like, I. Uh, I think it's because I maybe went into the fire. I'm not too sure. Yep. Men in, uh, men in children first, women in children first, am I right? <laughs> After some frustrating tries, I finally cleared the skies and then had to complete another holdout section. This area wasn't as bad though. After holding off the aliens for some time, we escaped with the marines and we got our next trophy. How are we escaping this? How are we escaping this, please? Oh, it just decided to stop shooting at us. Oh, how convenient. I then had the pleasure of a helicopter mission. This was, for the most part, a cakewalk. If we ignore my poor piloting skills and also flying into trees. I don't even know what's happened. I'm not doing anything. What the f... Now I'm just flying backwards. How is this occurring? How am I being put into a spin cycle? I don't understand. It's like there's a magnet pulling me downwards and killing me. The end section did prove to be trouble as well because I didn't know where to go and I just kept dying. I just pressed through and hit a cutscene eventually. So we finally made it towards the end of the game. Well, kinda. I'll just give you the cliff notes. Nearby power sources. You could have mentioned that before we brought it on board. Nomad, the Admiral wants to see you down in CDC. That video feed you sent back is causing a bit of a stir. Yeah. Better get down there. We had a debriefing with the main commander. Back with the USS Lexington. I want all non-critical personnel out of here right now. I'll be in the armory. Come find me when you're through with this asshole. 
We headed down to the medical bay and jumped into what I could only call the Animus from Assassin's Creed. We then got our suit checked and upgraded. The scientist we saved from earlier had an idea for an anti-alien nuke gun. Practical nuke incoming! There is a projectile tactical nuke. Works like a grenade launcher, but with a lot more bang for your buck. Whatever will they think of next? Can I try it out? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think we're done here, Lieutenant. I'll leave it to Dr. Rosenthal to fine-tune your transmitter. Thanks, Doc. No problem. You better get up to the bridge. The Admiral isn't known for his patience. And like most military figures with power, when something isn't going well, you just nuke it, right? Surely we'd need to be further away, no? Wait, chat, don't look at it, it will blind you. I definitely would be blinded by the nuke, <laughs> but it's the thought that counts. Unfortunately, that didn't work, and now the ship was under attack. After a lengthy defense of the lower decks, we worked our way back up to the top to fight a big thing. I, I, I don't know what it's called. Again, like most of the missions and boss fights, there wasn't any obvious guidance on how to win. Oh, this isn't good because there's the... Oh, I need to get the gun from... So there was just a lot of trial and error until finally defeating this invader. Oh, here we go. Nice. Got it. And I was ready to celebrate until... Not without my help. Whoa, what's that? Are That's... you crazy? Just go! Jeez, uh, where do I go? So I thought the first boss was hard, but this second boss was so much worse. Again, I didn't know where to shoot. There were smaller enemies spawning. Sometimes my shooting would just be blocked by a red X and also the most fearsome enemy of them all, the game crashing. My game has crashed. Oh. Nah, I never knew that. So I came back the next day to stream in a better mood in the hopes of finishing the game. While there were no crashes, thankfully, I did die. A lot. Nah, this is, this is, this is tough, this is tough, this is tough. And again, I came into this weird bug where it wouldn't let me shoot my gun at certain angles, which ultimately led to my death a lot of times. Look, I can't fire my gun. I can't fire my gun. Like, how, how... I can't fire my gun. Like, <sighs> I was seeing more red X's than Simon Gibbs on Britain's Got Talent. I'm too sexy for my Mac. Too sexy for my Mac. It's going to leave me. <laughs> Got the red X again for not letting me shoot. But after finally persevering and battling some more, I finally made it to a checkpoint in the final phase. I love games that don't tell me what to do. I don't understand how I'm how I just got a checkpoint there and I really don't want a checkpoint there. I then secured my first victory royale. But it wasn't over yet. At the Oh there's more. What on earth? Oh no. Oh no. I still needed to escape to the chopper. The, oh wait. Okay. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. That's what she said. Run 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 run. I'm on my way. Come on! You can make it! Let's go. Hold on! Come on, Psycho! Go, go, go! We then watched an alien combust in the water and headed out to profit on the island, I assume. Wait, what? How did you get sucked in? Hold on to me. Picking up a transmission. What is it? You ain't gonna believe this, mate. It's profit. He's alive? And kicking by the sound of it. Looks like he's inside the sphere. Lock under his position. Going back. Oh goodness, there's more. There's me saying, oh yeah, we'll get this wrapped up in an hour and a half. I don't know if we will. And then the game just ended there. Much to my pleasure, but 
I could imagine being very annoyed back in the day when this first came out and potentially having to wait to see what happens next, but with that said, the following difficulty related trophies were unlocked. Crisis Controlled, Delta Act 3 and Cool in a Crisis. I can't believe the game ended there though, did the original end there? Because that's such a, such a strange place to end the game, just like on such a big cliffhanger like that. Like I'm grateful that it's over, but that was, yeah, kind of, kind of odd. Now all we needed to do was a tiny little bit of cleanup and the platinum was ours. So I got kinky for 20 kills and choked some enemies. I threw some objects to kill 10 enemies. And I also killed a total of 400 enemies. These trophies stack as well, so I just went back into the chapter select and it counted my progress from my previous game. I then needed to unlock a trophy for using all weapon attachments, and I got this by luck, I'm not gonna lie. When you spawn into chapter 6, one of the attachments I needed was on the gun, so I just added it to the gun and got the trophy. And then lastly, I needed to box a nano suit soldier just like a prime Mike Tyson, and the platinum was finally mine. <laughs> If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe so you can catch me going live on the tuba, going for these platinum trophies, and drop a like if you want me to platinum crisis too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.